Right, so really excited to be sitting here today with my main man, Kevin Markarian from Marker Real Estate in San Francisco. We're here at the JW Marriott in Palm Springs. We're gonna share a couple beers and have a good conversation. Today, um, I'm drinking the, what is it called? The Heat Wave Amber, and Kevin's having the Poolside Blonde. They're both from a local brewer here uh, called La Quinta Brewing, and uh, we're gonna give them a try and kick this thing off. Cheers, man. One of the main reasons that I wanted to have Kevin out and kind of talk to him is because he's really on the, I want to say cutting edge of real estate lead generation and automation and um, just really being able to build a system inside of your business to bring in a consistent stream of leads and then turn that into a pipeline that's fully automated to help him and his realtors um, grow their business. You know, he, he really understands the tech side, the systems, the accountability, and all of that stuff on a really high level. And how many agents do you guys have now with uh, Marker? 55 agents, roughly. So 55 agents, and what's their per person productivity? Um, on average, it's about three million per person. Three million um, per but person. As any brokerage or team, you know, the majority of the people, like there's eight, it's the 80 20 rule. Right. right. So, so you, so you have the 80, 20 rule happening there as well. So we have a lot of producers, um, agents that are producing at a high level. Um, and then you have those that are kind of getting started and just, you know, wanting to get to a certain level where they can right. get a flow. And, and so, um, yeah, it's really, really great. So we're excited. I think a lot of people struggle with where do I get more leads? How do I get more leads? What do I do to make the phone ring? What do I do to get more opt-ins? And, um, why don't we just start there? Like, how did you, go down the road of cracking the, the lead generation code? Um, well, it was because I moved to San Francisco from a completely different market and I knew nobody in San Francisco. So I had to figure out a way to get business fast. <clears throat> and one way to do that is through online lead generation. So those are people that are interested in buying and selling properties. They don't necessarily need to know who you are. And, uh, and so we just started really, really heavily investing um, in the portals, in Google, now in Facebook and social media, you know, and if you think about what are the, you know, the biggest challenges a lot of agents face is being able to drum up business, right? Like that's a big challenge. And so, um, you know, that there is one way to solve that problem and that is through lead generation. And it doesn't have to be always be paid. You know, you can lead generate through your own sphere of influence. It's just about staying top of mind and reaching out to people. And at the end of the day, we're, we're in the communication business, right? We're in the communication business. We're in, it's like we're here to help people and stay connected with them and try to help them achieve their goals. Right now, like, what are, what are your favorite lead sources and why? The fav my favorite lead sources right now, definitely I would say Facebook is one that is, uh, is like a, the new frontier. Um, maybe about four or five years ago, um, everyone was talking about portals like Realtor.com, Zillow, Trulia, which are great. Don't get me wrong, they're just really costly. Um, and, but they're lower in the funnel too. Right. So you pay, you, you pay, you get what you pay for. You're going to pay more, but you're going to get people that are going to convert at a higher level with Facebook. The cost per lead is so low, um, that it's almost, it's almost like you, you kind of have to do it because it's almost, you know, it's like less than $2 a lead that we're paying. For so Facebook. right now you're converting at $2 a lead on your Facebook campaign, roughly, the, roughly $2 a lead, depending like, on the market. Those are great numbers, and I think that almost anybody could start with a relatively small budget and yeah. win with numbers like that, right? Like if you're spending ten dollars a day and you're getting five a leads a day, yeah. you know, in a, in a few weeks you're going to have a nice little database of people that you can work over, and and that's it. And yeah. and the thing too, though, to keep in mind with Facebook is that they're higher funnel leads, so they're not going to be ready to convert like right now, right? So you're just gonna, it just takes a little bit more nurturing, more follow-up and you know, just staying in front of them and, and, a, and a, over a longer period of time. And the idea is to build your database right. because these people have clicked on property. Yeah. And uh, one of the things I like to think about with uh, portals versus Facebook so, and with Google. So I like to think of portals, Google, and Facebook. Portals and Google are more of like active leads. They're seeking. They're seeking information. Somebody goes to realtor.com to look for property, right? Versus Facebook, we're targeting them. They're being sought after. So we're, we're like interrupting their day, right? And so that's why they're higher funnel because they're not seeking the data. They're not seeking the info. 
Okay. Right? So that's an important distinction. So like what, in terms of timeline, what are you seeing for conversions for Facebook leads and the others, the yeah. portals and the Googles? We're still testing it out, but they're like for the portals, we're like 60 days or so, okay. 120 days. Um, and that's, there's a lot of people that are converting at a higher level than right. that. So um, our problem in our market is there's no inventory. Right. So uh, if there was better inventory, we'd have a shorter probably conversion. But with Facebook, they're going to be double or maybe even triple right. the time frame. You yeah. know, and so, and the thing real quick on Facebook is, um, it's a great way to build your database too. So, so if you just want to grow, like start a, growing a database, Facebook's a really inexpensive way yeah. to do that. Yeah. And I think one of the key takeaways there is the, the timeline horizon. These are, cause I hear a lot of people when they generate leads or they buy leads, they're like, oh, these leads suck. These leads are, these leads are weak, whatever. And I think what what most people are missing is they're just not ready to take the action right away. And I don't think that that means that they're bad leads or good leads, right? It just means that that's the part of the process that they need to go through. And once you understand that, then you can set up systems that over time will follow right. up and keep you top of mind as these people are, are going through the learning process and the finding and discovery process. Absolutely. And I think a lot of agents fail in the follow up. And that's really where your conversion comes in is, you know, a lot of people talk and I hear it all the time, speed to lead, speed to lead, speed to lead, get back to them fast. Right? right. Yes. That's very important. But you also, it's, it's also the length. It's also a duration, the number of times you follow up over, you know, the course of a week, over the course of the, the first day, over the course of a month, six months, a year. Um, one tip that works really well for us is, uh, in terms of response, when we call someone and they don't answer, one thing that really works is when we call right back. So you call and they don't answer, you call right back. It sort of increases the urgency. Right. So now the recipient that's getting that second phone call from a phone number they've never seen before, it becomes like, okay, well, maybe I should answer. There might be something going on. Like, right. so, uh, so it increases the, 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 the response. But I just think uh, it's really about follow-up. And then, and then we, we can only be at one place at one time can only deal with so many people in a given day. So the key there is automation. Yes. So then you, you automate the follow-up, yes. right? And we can talk about that. And so with fault, with automation, it, it, re it requires authenticity. Yeah. Right. So you can have all the best automation. You've got all the systems, all the CRM, all the texting, all the follow-up, all the stuff you're doing automatically, the tap that's working for you, that you're leveraging technology to do these things for you. But if it sounds canned, and it sounds like tech, like overly spammy, spammy salesy. salesy, and it sounds like it looks like it's fake. It looks like it's automated. It's not authentic. Then it's a problem. Then uh -huh. it's your conversion goes down. But if you've got automation with authenticity, your conversion skyrockets. See, and that that's a that's a really great takeaway. Um, I want to get into the automation and the systems in a second because the stuff you've built is really pretty impressive. And um, I think man. everyone will get a lot of value out of that. But before we do that, let's talk about these Facebook ads and kind of what they look like and what the message is on them. The cool thing with lead ads is, so if you, if you have a landing, let's say you have a landing page and you're doing a Google ad and you target someone and they go to your landing page, they have to then register, enter their name, phone number and everything, and then you get their data, right? Then you can call them. The cool thing with lead ads on Facebook is that when somebody clicks on your ad, Facebook will, will extract their information that they've provided on when they signed up with Facebook. And when they click on that ad and they say, yes, I want more info, they don't have to register. Mm -hmm. Like that step is gone. So they, you automatically get their info. That could be a good thing or a bad thing. It's a good thing because now you have their info and you can follow up. Right. It's a bad thing because they didn't enter the info, right? So they might not feel like they're going to get a phone call or whatever. Yeah. But um, at the same time, they did click on an ad and they did get information from Facebook, letting them know that they're going to get a, um, that their info is being shared with the advertiser. So right? right now, you guys are doing really well with those lead ads. We're doing great with those lead ads. We're generating a lot of leads through Facebook. That's very cool. So so lead ads are basically just a type of ad that you can select inside of Facebook in the Ads Manager, where you basically, instead of um, trying to drive people to a website or drive people to video views or an event page, you're basically just 
giving them the ability to just click a button and opt in. And so it's a really easy way to kind of get people to take action without really having to go through the extra steps of, of typing their information in. Right. And uh, one of the things that a lot of the leaders are in the industry are utilizing with the type of ad is um, with lead ads is um, lists. So lists of houses. So like, you know, find the lowest price condos in San Diego or find the lowest price condos in this neighborhood or that neighborhood, mm -hmm. find the lowest price, you know, houses or highest price houses, most expensive homes or bed, you know, best three bedroom houses in X neighborhood. So these are some ideas that, that um, a lot of the people that, are, that we deal with that we both know very well that are working and doing a great job with Facebook um, are using. Mm -hmm. And so uh, those, are, those are ads that convert really well and you're gonna get a lot of people clicking so that's the messaging. It's, it's city name, homes for sale, discounts, foreclosure lists, things like that. That's one. You could also talk about, you know, best um, homes in this neighborhood or top 10 houses in this neighborhood. Right. Top 10, four bedroom, best views. Right. You know, uh, best views in San Francisco under a million dollars or whatever. Right. It okay, could just, good. you know, yeah, these like are some, that. yeah, these are just some ideas that you can use that people, you, you, you're going to get more of a targeted uh, audience to respond to those ads because, you know, if you get someone that clicks on that, then you know that that's what they're interested in. Now that they've clicked the button and said, yes, I want to receive the 10 best homes under a million dollars with a great view, what happens next? So then they, uh, they, if they, they can get, you can redirect them to a page. We redirect them to our page that already has that data, that information that we've already pre-selected, pre-searched. So they're getting the info. Okay. It goes to our, it goes to our site. Okay. Um, there is a register. On your website? On our website, yeah. Got it. It's an IDX feed okay. website. WordPress site? To. Yeah, WordPress okay. site. And, uh, and then they're, they're searching and then you can, um, it, they can re-register on your site. There's an option for them to re-register, although you've already got their info. But if they wanted to register, then now there's another, now you, in our site, you can start tracking their activity and stuff and like that. And what's the call to action on that new page since you've already gotten their email and phone number? The, well, we already have their email and phone number, but they're, they're getting the info that they requested. Got it. But there's still a registration box if they want. So Got it's it. not really much of a call to, call to action. So it's basically point. click the button, you get their information, they get the information that they wanted. Yes. In an easy to digest single yep. page. Yep. That's a lot of really good ideas on how to structure your ads and how to generate ads at a very low cost, especially in the real estate space. So now let's get into the juicy part of the automation that you've set up and how the follow-up process looks like from when they click the button and you've received their information. So right now we're using Agentology. Agentology. Uh, Agentology, and they're okay. doing a really great job. So what happens when a lead inquires they get they get a call right away and we use agentology to do that um, and they're getting they get a call they get a um, it's the within a within five minutes they get a text and then we have our inside sales team reach out to them and when we respond um, we are uh, with Facebook leads it's really more about like how can we help you um, we, we're you know are you thinking about buying a home it's, I saw that you clicked on one of our ads looks like you might be interested in homes with views in San Francisco. Okay. Um, you know, how can we help you? It's, uh, it's, you know, again, they're higher funnel, so they may not be ready to rock and roll just like right now this second. Right. But again, um, it's just about staying in front of them and, and staying in and contact. And so what, is, what does that look like, that staying in front of them? Is that voicemails, mail pieces, yes. emails? So we use Agent Legend. Agent Legend. Agent Legend allows us to... So there's two cool tools that you guys can try out. Um, Agentology, which is a San Diego company, so shout out to them. And um, Agent Legend. Agent Legend is really cool because it allows us to um, take email, texting, and voicemail and package everything in one. And I'm guessing it's probably more aggressive up front and then tapers off over time, but what are like? how are you hitting them voice, text, email, and how often in? You're right, so in the beginning, it's, it's, very, it's very aggressive. So we're calling three, four times a day, um, multiple times. I mean, we're, and we're sending more than one text a day, and we're, then we're sending it more than one email a day. Okay, the first, within the first week, it's pretty heavy. Um, and then we do taper off, but we're still like touching, right? right? And, uh, and that's where I think a lot of people fall off and that's where we're, why we're converting 
our past our older leads yeah. at a really high level because we're we're just staying in front of them and you know what these not every every client that clicks on your website or goes on realtor.com is going to buy like in the next week right right and i think you touched on it earlier right it all comes down to that timeline like if they're if they're early in the timeline and you're hitting them aggressively they're probably going to ignore you but then all of a sudden three four five months down the road after they've gotten their financing situated and kind of gone down the process a little further now all of a sudden you hit them again with an automated text or an email and now it's the right time for them where most agents have already stopped and given up a long time ago you've got everything continuing and it's fully automated and here's what that's what lev that levels the playing field between like a new agent like me that moved to San Francisco didn't know anyone and a top producing agent now I'm on the same level with them because I'm I'm following up and you know what I, I may not have all the experience in the world it's okay right. because I'm gonna be there my face will be there when they're ready to do something I worked uh, at a shoe store when I was really young like 19 years old and we had like a our own like crew we had these like people that were like really good at sales and stuff and uh, we used to sell like shoes and stuff right I remember there was a, a young kid that uh, that used to come in like every day and ask for a job and he wasn't the best salesperson <laughs> right one day uh, somebody quit and then the next day I walk in and that guy's there he's hired and we're all the, like wondering why did, to the manager like why did you hire this dude like he's not good at sales he said because he was here and I needed someone and I needed a Someone and he fast. was persistent. And he was persistent. Yeah. And I just remembered that this, I can call on this person. Right. And I know he'll fill the spot. So I want to be that agent. I want to be that person that it doesn't matter how good or bad I am. Right. I'm going to fill that I'm spot. I'm there. I'm there. So that was something that um, I think a lot, I, I think a lot of agents, if they were to think of that and, and utilize that. That's a great a story. Way. I mean, that clicked the light bulb in my head because, you know, we, We've all seen that work at some point in our life where just the persistent person, whether they were the best or not, got what they wanted just for being persistent. And so if you can outsource and automate that persistence to where all you have to do is once they raise their hand, then you get notified and those are the ones you can take action on. Now all of a sudden your, your, your results start to really compound. And what's cool about that, what you just said, is uh, you don't have to like walk in the store right you don't have to go and do the effort you right. can leverage technology to do that effort for you and that's where it gets really powerful because you can touch so many people that just you know your grasp is so much greater larger right because yeah. you're leveraging technology so it's just really it's um, it's like it's great it's extremely scalable <laughs> it is yeah. um so let's talk about the tools that you're using to facilitate all of the back-end stuff that you do so we use a CRM called follow-up boss okay a very well-known very good CRM um, allows us to track everything that all the clients that come in um, also we're holding people accountable so we have lots of leads coming in and we're assigning them to agents helps us convert helps us make sure that people are following up right and it and it really a lot of a lot of agents that are part of our team are really looking for something like that they're looking for accountability and it allows us to Stay, stay in front of them and make sure everyone's doing what they're supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. So follow up bosses is, is um, one of the tools. Also, if, uh, if you have a team or if you want to separate your business and your to, and personal, we use a, an app. It's a phone app called Line2. 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 We use it for our inside sales team <clears throat> and allows us to keep track of calls, number of calls, duration of calls. We can... Um, see the see the text messages that are sent and it just allows us to to um track everything follow up boss agent legend line two and how agentology and agentology how how do follow up boss and agent legend work together so agent Le agent legend when there's a first of all they're integrated so anytime something happens in agent legend so if someone raises their hand we, we have a note in follow-up boss. So we're alerted in follow-up boss and in agent legend, um, which is really cool. And, uh, and everybody gets notified. So our entire team is are set up so that they all get a notification when something happens. So like we know that's where we need to be on it. Another tool that we're using a lot right now is Real Scout. Real Scout. Real Scout is so awesome. That's the one you were showing me earlier today. Yeah. 
Yeah. If you have a database, if you've already generated a lot of leads or you have a past clients or whatever, so our database is a lead source in itself, mm -hmm. right? So now we're like, okay, I've generated all these leads. Let me um, leverage that. I don't have to pay for those. I've already paid for them. So now let's take those and put them somewhere where we can start cultivating them. Right. And we can start generating some business out of it, right? So what RealScout allows us to do is we send alerts, property alerts, and the user interface on RealScout is really, really beautiful. And there's lots of like natural language. Like if you, if, um, you know, if somebody's interested in natural light, let's say, um, you can, uh, there's like natural sounding language when you send a message like mm. on a property, like, hey, John, I know you're interested in natural light. This property has, it's facing south and gets lots of sunlight in the kitchen. Maybe you should take a look at it. So you can put all that custom language in there. It, it's automatic. Real Scout does it. Wow. And, uh, and another thing that they can do is um, like if someone's only interested in granite countertops in the kitchen, well, Real Scout, you can indicate that and Real Scout will send them properties that only have granite countertops in the kitchen and that'll be the first picture that shows up. And what's cool about Real Scout is um, you can see how, you can track all the opens like I showed you earlier. Mm -hmm. You can see how many times people have clicked on specific properties, how many times they've shared those properties, how many times they've saved them. So it's just every day we get a report and we can, there's like hundreds of people that are clicking and we just reach out. So you just find the people that are the most engaged, they've viewed the most amount of properties and you call them first. Yeah, we call them first and, yeah. <laughs> and it's like so easy. And, and they're probably excited because if they're at the point now where they've looked at 50 properties in 24 hours on the website, all of a sudden you know that this person's moving down the funnel, becoming a lot more serious, and now at that point it's probably ready to have a more real serious conversation. Yes, and what's cool too is they can set appointments through the system. So we get six or seven appointments a day, appointment requests a day. And these are just people that are in our database and they're, we're not doing anything with them. And they're reaching out and we, I get a text, I'm telling you like six, seven text messages a day from people that want to see a property. And uh, it's just, you know, again, there's so much like, so much technology out there. And so just, if you like the idea of getting <laughs> six or seven text messages a day from interested people, you might want to give that a shot. And that's free, right? Yeah. Those are people that you already have in your database that want to look at property. They know who you are because all of your info's branded and uh you could do that or you could pay 150 bucks a lead from a portal ad like so mm -hmm. like what would you rather do right right um so it's just working really well it's working really well for that's us that's very cool yeah so let me see if i can connect all the dots here so running facebook ad lead um lead ads and ppc we'll just call them two separate funnels and then th as they come in they go into agent legend which is sending out automated texts, emails, voicemails, voice ringless voicemails. Then they go into follow up boss once they've raised their hand, or 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 follow up boss and agent legend running together at the same they time. They go into follow up boss automatically. Okay. And then uh, they also get called by agentology. Okay. And they go into agent legend. <laughs> so there's a lot of agents in that. So they're they getting get called hit by all an agent fronts. too. Yeah. And just for anyone that doesn't know, agentology is basically an outsourced calling service. Right. And they will call your new leads for you as they come in. Right, right. And so it just saves us a lot of time. And there's, it's for new leads that come in. So if you're generating a lot of new leads and you're not able to keep up, this is a, you know, using something like agentology is a great way to um, uh, leverage your time, basically. Yeah. So it's yeah. good. Yeah. You just mentioned you get to the point where you have too many leads, right? What, at that point, that's kind of like going to phase two where you might want to start bringing in other agents yes. or someone underneath you to work those. Absolutely, I think um, starting a team, it, in order to start a team, you need to solve a problem for me. For me, my problem was I had too many leads, not enough time, too many clients, and that's a great problem to have. Yeah. But it's also a bad problem because you're missing out on opportunities. So, um, so what, what I was able to do is because we're generating so many, people want to work leads. So I just reached out to agents inside my office and asked if they'd be interested in working some leads. Right. And so we just we basically plugged those agents into our CRM and our started assigning leads directly to them. I guess the biggest challenge I would see with doing that, because I love that idea, is just the accountability piece and making sure that they're actually working the leads that they're supposed to and they're actually following up the way that they're supposed to. But I guess in a sense, a lot of that you've already automated 
so they don't need to do as much of that. All the leads that are assigned go into the CRM and when they're assigned to agents, once an agent has a lead, then they're responsible for following up, for tracking, for, for uh, including the correspondence inside the notes. So our note taking is like, that's how we hold agents accountable. So yeah. we, so we, when a lead's assigned, we want to make sure that they're being followed up on. And so if agents aren't taking notes, then we're going to assume they're not being followed up on. And what we do is we'll reach out to the, to the client and, uh, and we'll just reach out and say, Hey, this is Kevin with market real estate. Just want to make sure you've, you know, you've had a chance to speak with Jane and you know, we, I know you talked with Jane last week or whatever. And, uh, how's it going? And so, uh, and then we get a kind of a progress report from the client like, Oh, Jane's awesome. Nice. Talked to Jane many times. She's great. We were going to look at property tomorrow. Well, that's good. Maybe Jane forgot to enter notes in. Yeah. And that's fine. We talk with Jane. Hey, would you mind entering the notes? Or you call a client and we're like, Hey, how's it going with Jane? And they're like, Jane's Who? a freaking nightmare. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I haven't heard from Jane. Yeah. I've called her 15 times. She hasn't responded. So then it's like, okay, Jane, we, we now you got a different problem. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, but it works really well. I mean, it's not like nobody's getting hit with a hammer or anything. I mean, it's very smooth. It's all about converting and working together as a team and trying to close more transactions and help people achieve their goals of buying and selling property. Yeah, everybody wins. Everybody wins. I do want to talk about two quick things before we wrap up, and that's the, the Craigli Craigslist strategy that you shared with me and the Yelp strategy. Okay. Because I think both of those are easy and relatively inexpensive for any agent to start immediately and start winning with. So what we do with Craigslist is... Um, we take properties, all of our listings, and including past sales too, okay? So we take all of our sales and, uh, and we put them on Craigslist. And, um, and uh, we'll put the photo, we'll, we'll put the description, and then we'll, we'll put a, a call action, which is a great software. We'll put a call action number in the Craigslist ad and we'll say text um, more text info to this number for more information, right? So what's cool about call action is when they text you that word info, call action will scrub the internet and will find their name, their phone number, their email address, where they work, their age, how much their ink, what their income is, do they have kids, the whole nine yards, do they own a home, their mortgage, everything within like a split second through call action, right? So now we've got all this data, they just clicked info, they just requested info off of Craigslist, which is free, and Craigslist doesn't um, flag it because there's no link. It's just a, it's just a thing. Yeah. It's a number, and then um, we call, we send an appointment, and they want more info on the property. If the property is not available, simple. Property is not available. Right. We have others, yeah. right? If it is, great. Let's set up an appointment. Very so cool. we only include the description of the property, and the picture. That's definitely it. Definitely don't include the price because that's what everybody wants to know, and that's why they're going to text. Or the address. Or the address. Right. Yeah. So if more info, they text, and then you, then you call. It's very simple. It's free. It just takes little effort to do it we have it outsourced um, but if you have the time then you can do it and it's really great so just to put a bow on that he's taking his property listings making a nice graphic including a short description putting in their text for more info which is all facilitated through call action and call action is then letting you know hey we got a new person off of this craigslist ad and then you can follow up and say hey how can how can we assist? Yeah. It's very simple. Very simple. And free. And free. And you can literally post every single day, multiple times a day. You can hire a virtual assistant to do that stuff for you. Yeah. And, um, and what's interesting about that, because every, I just, everyone thinks Craigslist is dead, right? Because they took the hyperlinks out. And as soon as they took the hyperlinks out, like the number of real estate posts dropped like 75% overnight, which is, awesome. which is great <laughs> for the people that are still using it yeah. and who've come up with innovative new ways to get that client information off oh, of there. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's great. And then even if you hired a virtual assistant, let's say, and let's say that costs you a thousand bucks a month and you're generating leads through that, right? Well, that's probably cheaper than going out and buying leads. I love that. I think that's easy to implement. I think anyone can start that pretty much right away. I think you're blowing it if you don't start that right away because it's free and it's very easy to start. Um, let's switch gears and talk about the Yelp strategy that you shared by basically keyword gaming Yelp. Yes, yeah, so I learned this from my good buddy Jason Walters. Uh, and uh, what he does is uh, you, so you've got your Yelp 
reviews. And when you ask for Yelp reviews, it's really important to ask for key, certain words to be used. So if I'm asking you for a review, we just sold a house, everything's great. Would you mind including in your review, great realtor in San Francisco? Kevin is a great realtor in San Francisco. Best San Francisco realtor. Best San Francisco realtor. Or any search word, keyword that you think people are going to look up when they're looking for an agent, ask your your clients to um, include those words in the review because when then when somebody goes to Google best realtor in San Francisco and you've got like 50 reviews and they all say best realtor in San Francisco well guess what's gonna show up yeah right your Yelp review your Yelp profile and uh, and that's like I know Jason's generating tons of leads through Yelp and he doesn't even pay think about how easy that is just simply ask your client to give you a review on Yelp which you should be doing anyways um, and then instead of just asking for a, a Yelp review, ask them to add the keywords that you'd like to rank under. Anything, you know, and there's probably a hundred if you use Google Keyword Planner that you can figure out. And then because Yelp has such good Google juice, yeah. they, they rank high under a lot of stuff. And so if you're able to stuff your keywords into your customer testimonials, you're gonna rank under those, under those keywords. And that's a pretty, cool little strategy. Yeah, yeah, and it, and it really works. And while you're at it, you might as well, when they're posting reviews on other sites, right. use the same use, thing. Yeah, same same thing. And we should all have our profiles, like the basics. Get your profiles done online. Your yeah. presence online is so important. Like when we talk to leads, I'm talking to them on the phone and I can literally hear their like keyboard, they're Googling me, right? Yeah. They're, looking, they're looking me up and like we've talked about it. And right. We talk on the phone, like are you, like they tell me they're Googling me, right? So if, if, you, if somebody's looking you up, they don't know who you are, or even if they do know who you are, and they see your profile and it's like, it's not consistent with that of a real estate professional, then how much confidence is that person gonna have right. in work, wanting to work right. with you? Where so, on the other side, if they Google you and you have 50 five-star Yelp reviews and you just have people raving about you, then obviously your conversions are just gonna improve. Yeah, and people are going to want to, they're going to feel comfortable with their biggest asset in your hands, right? Right. So um, online profiles, there's, uh, there's lots of agents that I know that like don't even have a profile online, like a Facebook. Which is crazy. Or yeah. Um, one other tip too is uh, on your phone, you know how, or like on your email, you know how you can, you know, you enter your name in your email, adding the word realtor at the end of that. So that whenever people see your name in their phone, it'll say like Oliver, my mm. realtor. You could be like, you know, you can put my realtor. <laughs> my at, realtor, I love that. Uh, just <laughs> little things. Again, it's just to keep your stay top of mind with people, um, so that they know that you're a realtor. And then you end up being that kid that got hired at the shoe store, that you know showed his because he showed his face nonstop. And that's I just want to be that kid. I want to be that kid for all of my clients, all that's people great. out there. So. And it yeah. seems like you're doing a pretty good job at it. Thanks, man. So that's kind of a wrap for us. Let's um, have one more sip of these amazing beers. I hope you got a lot of information from Kevin, shared a lot of really good stuff. I hope that you can go out there and win with it. Now you're in the know. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, man.